June 17th, 2022. Don't you ever get the feeling that all of your life is going by and you're not taking advantage of it? Do you realize you've nearly lived half the time you have to live already? I recently had a conversation with my boyfriend and his family. Walking has become a huge passion of mine this past year, and I was discussing the fact that when I graduate, I want to walk across a country. That I want to take a month or so off my life and just focus on the sounds of nature and how beautiful the world is. His mom said to me, just don't wait until it's too late and your body can't keep up. And this comment really struck me. How often do we spend waiting for the good moments and taking things off the bucket list rather than we actually spend doing them? Time is a really interesting concept for me, although I'm sure the majority of us take interest in it. The fact that all of the best moments in my life so far have already passed and I can't get them back, but I can wait for the future to get some more. Or that I have spent approximately 192,000 hours on this earth, but I would all just have it down to one minute segment when asked who I am. That every time I look back on who I was in the past, I see myself as though I were a different person tackling different problems to the ones I have now. We all fear time and how short our life really is, yet we waste so much of it on the wrong things. Accomplishments just for bragging rights, spending it with the people we don't love, stressing over the things we cannot change. A lot of us wish our life away saying, I'll be happy when dot dot dot, instead of looking at the things that we can be happy about right now. I understand it's important to be a realist and spend a portion of your life setting yourself up for a good one. But I think in today's society, we have lost track of the balance we need for a good life. For example, being able to switch off your work mind and enjoy dinner with your family, or spending most of your life planning for a future that is not certain. If I were to ask you right now, are you spending your life the way you want to? Would you say yes with 100% certitude? If you were to write a list of five things that make you happy, Are those five things on your daily agenda enough? For me, I get the most joy from talking with my friends, walking, and experiencing something new, whether it be a new city or a new meal. So this summer, I decided to do just that. I have created a big summer bucket list with all the things I want to do, from having a romantic dinner in the Cinque Terre, to seeing Andrea Bocelli in concert, to zip learning in Slovenia. It's time to stop living in the future and past and make your present the best moment yet. One day, I'm going to look down at my hands and see the physical journey they have been on for the scars and wrinkles I'll have. And I hope I'll think I've lived my life well. One thing that always seems to be on people's bucket lists is learning a new language. Yet many of us never take the first step. Partnering with the sponsor of today's video, let me make it easier for you and show you LingoPie a platform where you can learn a language by literally binge-watching TV. If you're a film buff like me, you're gonna love it. It's so much more than just watching TV shows aimlessly without really learning, as they have so many features to put your target language to the test. I'm often guilty of hearing a new word when watching TV and saying, yeah, I'll remember that, without revising it. And that's why LingoPie's flashcards and quizzes are so great, because the words you will search for will be put on the deck for you to revise until you've got it right. Also, when watching a show, there's an icon at the bottom, say it, which means you can practice your pronunciation right alongside the native speaking it. Far better than just seeing a new word and guessing how to pronounce it. If you're a bit more advanced and want to have only subtitles in the target language, you can use their interactive subtitles to click on words you don't know and add them to the pile of your new vocabulary. I've been watching Il Carabiniere and trying to pronounce the subtitles alongside the actors and it's really helping my pronunciation. If you want to use this summer to take learning a new language off your bucket list, you can use my link to get a 7-day free trial on LingoPie and a special 65% discount on your annual subscription to join new TV shows and series that are added to the catalogue every week. So, are you spending your time right?